Hey, everybody. <laughs> it is rare that you get to see a Norman Chan in a state of excitement this high. <laughs> Adam Savage and Norm here from Tested in the Tested offices with an unboxing that you are beside oh my yourself. Good. And we're doing this here just like you did with the Ecto-1 because the space. We needed the space. This is too big for my shop. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, of course, what you ha we have here is the Batwing from 1989, Tim Burton's Batman movie. The first time the Batwing, Batman's airplane was shaped like a bat. Yes, and we have met the 1989 yes, Batwing. Yes, yeah, so longtime <laughs> viewers of Tested may remember, we did, went down to Prop Store, mm -hmm. where Brandon Allinger has the one of the, I think, three he, he owns, he's in his collection. Yes. One of the three filming miniatures yeah. for the Batwing used for that film, which is a quarter scale. Yeah, uh, it's gigantic. Eight it's, foot model, they restored it. He had it restored, yeah, and there was a lot of, we talked a lot about the choices and compromises you yeah. make, or, I mean, compromise, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a process to restore something like that, and he did a wonderful job. Absolutely, and the intersection of that with this video is that this, this company who makes this called Jazz Inc. Dioramas, they're based out of the Netherlands, family-run business who has an official license to make large-scale, one-six-scale vehicles, <laughs> watch our video, and then ch found information from the paint job, oh! to the, uh, the geometry, to then improve the design of this. So we're part of the feedback loop that generated what's in this box. They're watching. They're I always love watching. that. I yeah. love that. We'll include a link to the uh, to that it conversation with Brandon and shots of his beautiful Batwing in the in the description. Let's, let's, let's pop this open. This open. Let's, let's do it. The let's whole, do the whole now, journey. Quarter scale Batwing. There's no way the whole thing fits in here. No, this is six scale. So it's going to be ah, smaller than slightly smaller. <laughs> so, okay. Slightly. <laughs> We're gonna, and, and I think. Uh, the scale of this is something that I'm, I'm not mentally prepared for, even at six scale, <laughs> how big this could be. So uh, this is six scale. One six scale. This is action, Batman action figure, yeah, 12 inch that's action it. figure that's scale. It. That's oh, it. Man. Okay, so uh, there's a, one end of the box which we can pop open. Okay, there we go. And okay. as we pull that We've out, got some, some got things a bit in of padding. There. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here's and then, yep, there's some. Uh, parts. some... I'm gonna grab the uh, knife yep, there. Yep, yep. Just give me a and slice of course, there. Of uh, course, as we learn from yeah. the video we shot with Brandon, the Batwing was not designed by Anton First, the production designer. Julian Caldo, a uh, illustrator in the UK, uh, did the sketches for the Batwing, the Batmobile. Uh, the car, as they called it in the production, as well as the utility, uh, the grapple, grapnel gun. Right. These are all Ooh. iconic pieces that, for the first time, like, I didn't realize Batman 1989 was the first time he had the grapnel gun. Was the first time oh, really? the Batwing was called the Batwing and not the Batplane. They, wow, those all seem like such iconic I know, choices exactly. that yeah. I grew up with, but I didn't, I guess. Yes, yes. All right, so oh. <laughs> we see some ears. We see some ears. All right, here. So I'm, I'm going to hold tight. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to pop this out. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Now, Norm, I don't want to spoil your fun, but there's no wings there. <laughs> I think for shipping purposes, this is how they broke it down. The wings are actually in the secondary oh, box. Okay. I uh, really was wondering for a minute. All uh, right. So uh, there is, I, I did a little bit of preparation here. This, of course, came in a bigger shipping box from the Netherlands, yeah. which came with some packing material. Now, they say use this packing material for support so that we can flip the uh, bat wing upside down All right. and lay it on here. So, so you can pull the foam off the sides. Yep. Do that. And the same over here. Great. And you can start to pull the plastic while I hold on to it. Got it. Got it. it. Can it be taped on? Uh, yep. I might, uh, we could probably keep that on. There's some good tape there. Yeah. So I've got four pieces that I'll lay out here. Uh, and we'll lay that upside down. Nope. Um, way. Well, I, it's, uh, it's, it, this is going to get oh, scratched. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so me, yeah, go ahead and pop that. I still think it might need to go a little higher. There you go. You got it. That's great. Oh, my God, the cockpit. Just looking at the cockpit, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a sense of the scale. Yeah. Yeah, it's there real. It there you go. Right, we'll There's a canopy this. piece, and here comes another canopy piece. Okay, great, great, great. Um, I don't think that comes out, so I think we can have it. If, we, if I get this a little close to it, it um, will it sit on here. No, but but here, let's try. Um, let's try like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. There it goes. That's relatively yeah, stable. There it goes. Okay. So we're going to plug on each side plus uh -huh. the power in, I'm guessing. Uh, and I think in the packaging, so there's are three some mounting landing points. gear. Yes. Okay. The Batwing didn't actually have landing gear in the film. You know, it famously crashed in front of the cathedral. Are you going to uh, display it with landing gear? So they've designed it so the landing gear can be uh, wall mounted as well. There's a what? template, a drill template. And I think that's the way to do it. Oh, nice. Like so. All right. I want to hand tighten that. And yep. so I see your drilling template there. You yeah. just go through these three mm -hmm. things, and it's nice and off the wall. All right. Now, given hey. how big this is, I think doing like a moon backdrop would be impractical. Although okay. that's the dream. So, All right. Oh, so I can flip this over now. You can flip this okay. over, but we still need. Oh, right. So that's just for putting on those. We yes. can put the wings on now. Exactly. Oh, great. Exactly. Let's turn this toward you. Yes. Viewer. There we um, go. So we can <sighs> pop this out. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. We're, I'm getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Let's uh, grab the oh. uh, box cutter again. Yeah. There you go. Uh, All right. This company, Jazz Inc., started as just a fan of one six scale models doing like dioramas for uh, like IKEA bookshelves, you know, like Star Wars style inside of the Death Star, um, and then gained popularity, gained a following, and now they have a license with Warner Brothers to do. They've done the Batmobile from the Zack Snyder films. Oh, really? At one six scale. So imagine how big that is. Jeez, I'm cool. The Justice Mobile. Yeah. They've done uh, the Batman 1966, um, Adam West Batmobile. That and, might be my all time favorite. Yeah. Just, just for the fun part. Although I really love the Tumblr. And um, they're doing the Matt Reeves, Robert Pattinson Batmobile. Oh. So these are the wings. Now I think there is a bar, a crossbar somewhere that we push across here. That makes sense. There's these guys. So there's that doesn't go that. Oh, it's right here. All right, there it goes. Oh wow! Structural support. So the Ooh. drooping, of course. Like the, the miniatures you've made, drooping uh -huh. is always a concern. Oh, look at that. They're brilliant. They've included this black anodized aluminum, super strong. And I think I've got the left wing, the right hand wing here. All right. Yeah. Wait. Wait. I think, I think, you're, I think we're correct. I think we are. The so lights go up front, yes? Yep, yep, yep. And there's a, <clears throat> there should be a power connector. That in. There are some pegs I see. Uh huh. So I'm gonna plug in. So we still need to turn this whole thing upside down. Yeah. Uh, yes. My plug is in. And I am. Yep. In as well. I'm gonna plug in this guy. Woo. I know how to do this, Norm. And those pins are aligned. Great. <sighs> Slot it in. Here, grab the, <laughs> hold I got it, tight. it, I got it, yep. Yep, and we're gonna put it Upside down. Upside down, and there we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, and those bottom panels hold on with magnets. Man, you know, do you know what it takes to engineer something this big? <laughs> yeah. These are these, these are giant injection molding tools. This is non-trivial. Well, the, the interesting thing is, you know, a lot of people assume that when you get a license from a studio, the studio gives you, here's a Dropbox folder full of CAD models or, or reference pictures. And they, they don't? that's not the case. Like a license just means the studio will approve it, but it's really on the manufacturer to figure it out, to figure out how accurate they want to be. Interesting. And for something like this, and they want to go with as accurate as possible, 
scaling becomes really important. They're relying on the community. They're relying on people who are the hardcore fans who are going to want to want one of these to know exactly all the contours and all the dimensions. There it goes. We'll pop that in. And they'll go back and rescale and, and re redo, remodel, recat everything, and maybe build new tooling if they need to, to accuratize it. I think these are magnets. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, are we ready to flip this upside down again? Are we going to flip right this upside up? down again? Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to move these boxes out of yeah. the way. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god. All right, let's take a look. Easy. Let's take a look. Um, that is for over here. Yep. And I've got another one. You might want to remove that tape there for the gat Gatling gun. gun. For the back gat. Oh, right. And there's one more. One more fin on the top, right? Fin on the top. Ah, found the top fin. <laughs> I love this, this part. Thing, the yeah, the, the targeting computer, it's very, uh, it must have been influenced by Star Wars. You know, right, Luke's right, targeting right. computer when he's going down the trench run. Very similar thing. Oh. <laughs> so the, this pops out and. That sound. The Gatling gun just drops into here. So you can display with or without. That's very neat. These guys, I don't know what those are. Where uh, those go? Do those go over here? They do. Oh, and the, there we go. Magnets. Yep. Uh, this magnet thing is really nicely done, I must admit. And I believe that's the same with the um, the balloon. The, the, the bat wing, for some reason, needs to have a balloon grabber with like the little milling saw. Yes. <laughs> And that goes under the, here? Yes, that goes under there. Oh, right, and here's the cover for when it's not there. But you'll display it with everything in place. Oh, I, I, I don't know, I don't think I'll, I'll need that one. It's nicely painted, <laughs> though. There's a little rust on it. Yeah, just it's like, a nice paint job. And I think that is also from our video, all yep. the, the, that detail on the rust and that little um, uh, milling saw. Um, okay, all we're right, almost shall we there. plug it in? Wait, 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 wait. Let You should put the cockpit back on. Oh, yeah, yeah, the cockpit. <laughs> Um, we well, have no, no. Some... We're, we're gonna wait for we're gonna wait for the very end for the oh, okay. canopy. All right, we got some little tiny bombs. Got four oh yeah, of those. yes, yep, yep. And those go. Plus, uh, I think to hold some stuff in, there's some extra lines of felt. Mm. For some oh, and there's some uh, clear tape. That's probably for the the canopy. If someone's gonna mount it vertically. Uh, all right. Um, okay, are you ready to plug it in? Yeah, let's let's do it. All right. <laughs> <coughs> All right. There must be a switch somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's on. Oh. The, mm. <laughs> so you got lights in the cockpit, a lot of little LED lights. You got lights on the targeting computer. It does articulate. No oh, way. that's cool. And then uh, lights up front there. Front. The cockpit actually says shit. <laughs> Light control, manual, flight oh, status. Man, that is super pretty. The flaps yeah. come up, flaps do flip yep. up. Oh, and there's under lights. Oh yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Dude, that is one pretty model. Before we put on the top canopy, yeah. we brought in you brought in six scale me. A tiny atom at six scale. I don't have the Batman yet. That's coming out. The reissue is coming out in, uh, maybe next year. But let's see if we can get Adam, you in here. Oh, with my Iron Man glove and everything. Do I we... like my Mr. Robot hoodie. There we go. Just to confirm it does fit a Dude, one six scale I figure. I can't believe that fits a six scale figure. That's cray. Hey, a note. When you do some painting on this, I might, you see that reflection off the bottom of the yeah. canopy? I mm -hmm. might go in with paint and paint that surface so mm. it doesn't reflect back to you. Oh, dude, dude. Oh my gosh, it looks great. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's the first time I've ever sat in a bat wing. 
I love the lights are all bouncing off your face. Yeah, that is really, well. really nice looking. Um, hang on, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pose me a little better. There we go. Oh man. Put in some of these missiles, also magnetically attached, each one. That's wonderful. <laughs> Which ones? The, the little missiles. Oh, really? Oh, they just sit in there. They just sit oh, in there. Oh, that's great. And boop. No way. I really appreciate their magnet use. I'm just getting all the bags off of the... What a wonderful design. This yeah. bat wing. Yeah. I mean, this is a vehicle that like just showed up the finale of the movie. Yeah. Right, you saw, you had the incredible Batmobile and then they wanted to have this incredible aerial sequence and the fact that back then they built all those miniatures. For real. For real, one quarter scale. They had the, a two foot model for the crash scene. Uh, the miniaturist, uh, Derek Metting, who supervised it, you know, did all the miniatures for Superman and, and uh, Thunderbirds and, and, and the fact they, they were, had so much fun making it and now that collectors can get something like this. And the paint job, the subtle, you can see the, the gradients here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, real, it seems like they were inspired by, yeah. the, uh, by the real thing. Absolutely. Um, and this is really true that this is the first time a bat plane was shaped like a bat. First time a bat plane. I mean, and, and since then they've gotten more aggressive. Oh, you know, of like, course they have. But, right, but the fact that it's it's the logo. Well, and I really specifically that beautiful moment when it's uh, silhouetted against the moon yeah. before dropping into action. That was the the uh, the cover of the cassette tape. Look, or, or I've the also CD. I've also seen a lot of lit cockpits, and this is uh, this is high on my list. Like yeah. this is gorgeous. There's three instruments. Pit. There's actually three dial instruments that are lit up. A whole bunch of little LEDs, which look like light pipes. It's just perfect amount of lighting and dimming. Plus, you can. I love the fact that you can bring the targeting computer out in front of the eyes. Oh man, that's great. You know, <laughs> I, you got to get the Alfred and put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> the Michael Goff. Yes. Oh. Amazing. Batwing from Jazzing Dioramas. Uh, this is a, a project they've been working on for over two years. It's sold out. Only they, two years? I, well, yeah, I mean. Every single one of these is a different tool. Every, yeah. I mean, it's just a crazy amount of work and they've got felt here to helping hold these in. So you may want to add some more of that to mm -hmm. uh, when you hang this thing. Damn, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Uh, there is a wait list and it, so it's not out of the question if someone out there really wants to pick one up, they can sign up for the wait list. Uh, the we'll, link is in the description? Yes, the link is in, Wonderful. Will be in the description. One six scale vehicles. <laughs> Actually, once it's on the wall, putting a Batman in there is not going to be too hard. You no. Just, no. Well, Adam will sit in there for now until Batman arrives. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, joining me for this unboxing. Dude, that is thrilling. Let's get some beauty shots. So gorgeous.